Trump about draining the swamp and corruption in Washington. How do you see that in relation to the Fed and all that crap? Thank you. Um, as for Trump uh, and his pronouncements, etc., um, I think this is a fantastic opportunity for many, many Americans to learn some German. <laughs> and the first word I can teach them is Schuldenfraude. <laughs> right? Look it up. A lot of Americans are going to be looking it up. Schuldenfraude. Yes, thank you. I can't pronounce it very well. Um, the joy in watching somebody else's misfortune as their hopes and dreams of draining the swamp are crushed by the reality of a completely sold out establishment politician. I did. I've, I've spent the last six months telling people all around the world, including in Europe, Trump will win. And nobody believed me. Yes. Uh, right. Uh -huh. talking about the fact that we have, you know, we can see technology everywhere apart from in productivity stats, we've had you know issues around productivity. Your question is sorry. So so the point so you know, one of the thing, one of the things that I think would actually serve us maybe better, and you also alluded alluded to this in terms of applications, um, is shouldn't we be looking for engines for growth rather than actually self-referencing innovation? Well, okay, so I will agree with you, and to repeat the question, was this, was this a failure of politics, or was this a failure of economics, and should we be looking at the root causes and looking to increase innovation through Bitcoin in f fundamental financial services? Yes. When you see institutions fail, usually the, when you see democratic institutions fail, it's because economic institutions failed, because markets failed. So it's a cascading system. The reason that the political system in the U.S. failed in 2016 is because the economy failed in 2008, is because the market started failing about a decade before that, right? due to Glass-Steagall and various other things that happened. So market failure leads to economic failure, leads to institutional failure, and gradually all of the basic institutions of society start eroding. Um, and yes, we need to build, and not just economic applications. Bitcoin isn't just an economic system, it's also a system of markets. And it is providing an honest, truthful market solution. The reason Bitcoin is being used as the exit is because it offers the real market value for your currency exchange when the other markets have been artificially shut off. Right? So if you have, you know, a, a, a body of water that's, that's higher and a body of water that's lower, it will flow downhill, right? If you put a dam in the way, then you're creating an artificial restriction to hold that energy up, but the energy hasn't gone away. Now, Bitcoin happens to be a hydroelectric plant sitting on that dam, and the more higher up the water is, the higher the volume, the higher the disparity in energy, the more it's going to churn that engine. Why? Because it offers an honest path to the point of less energy. And so it's going to do that. It's a market mechanism. And we're going to need also governance mechanisms right, to fix some of the other institutions that have broken, institutions of politics and society. But right now, you know, you've got to realize we're facing a crisis, not here in Britain, but there's a global currency crisis going on, and this cur currency crisis is hitting nation after nation after nation. If you're in crisis, you don't look to, you know, how to improve the opera house, right? You take out the garbage. <laughs>